All right, so in the previous video, I showed a single phase motor that comes with six terminals. And I showed how to differentiate between a single phase motor and then a three phase motor that all come with six terminals. But in this video, the main focus is on how to wire the terminals of a three phase motor to supply. Okay, so this is a three phase motor and there are six terminals. We know that a three phase motor will require three lines to work. That is, we should have line one, line two, line three, or phase one, phase two, and then phase three. Okay, now there are only three supply lines, and then those supply lines will be connected to three of these terminals. The other terminals, what do we do with them? That is what we are going to look at. All right, so here, these are the three lines that will supply three phase to the motor. So we have A, B, and C. Okay. These terminals could actually be labeled as U1, V1, and W1. And then the other side labeled as U2, V2, and W2. But in this case, we have A, B, C, and then we have X, Y, Z. So here, for this three-phase motor to work, we either have to connect it in delta or star. Connecting a three-phase motor at a terminal block in delta or star is as simple as what I'm going to explain now. All right, so this is a small motor, and so I'll prefer to connect it in star. Connecting this in star simply means that we are going to bridge all the ends of the windings. So you have winding E ending at X here. So this is the beginning of the first winding that is labeled E, and this is the end of that winding that is labeled X. Then the next winding begins from B and ends at Y. Then the last winding begins from C and ends at Z. For this motor to work, we either have to connect the terminals in star or in delta. Connecting it in star means that we are bridging all the ends of the three windings together. Connecting it in delta means that we connect the beginning of the first winding to the end of the last winding. And then we connect the beginning of the second winding to the end of the first winding. And then we connect the beginning of the last winding to the end of the second winding. Okay. But this is a small motor, so preferably we are doing a star connection. So here, we just bridge the ends of all the windings together. Here like this, and then here like this. Okay, so we connect all the ends of the windings together, and then we connect line 1 to E, line 2 to B, line 3 to C. Okay, so now we are set to go. So now the connection is done. So I'm going to switch on the power and you see the motor working. Okay, there you go. So simply, this is how you connect the six terminals of a three-phase motor to make it work on a three-phase supply. All right, so before I go off, um, in case we want to change the direction of the rotation of this motor, it is very simple. We only have to interchange any two of the three windings. What about if we want to change the direction of a single phase motor? Definitely, we can't do that just by interchanging the two wires. Nothing will happen if we merely interchange the two wires. So, there is a way we have to go about that one too. And I'll be doing a video on that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have learned something useful from this video, kindly share with others to also benefit. And if you like what you have watched, give it a thumb up and stay connected. See you in the next video.